In today's gaming news, Far Cry 4 reviews are in, Planetside 2's PS4 beta starts soon, and the Warlords of Draenor face off against the mighty DDoS attack. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Force here with your day's gaming news. First up today, reviews are now in for the upcoming launch of Far Cry 4. And they seem to be fairly positive so far, averaging between an 8 to a 9 out of 10, and with most sites basically saying it's like more of Far Cry 3, which is a good thing because Far Cry 3 was a pretty damn good game. However, there's one noticeable exception to all of these reviews so far, and that's that there are no PC versions. Yes, PC codes for the game have yet to go out. In an official Ubisoft response when asked by PC Gamer why they hadn't received a code, they said that the reason why we did not provide review code until now is that there is a title update which won't be available before Monday prior to launch. So basically what this means is there's probably some major patch coming to the PC version of the game that if you were to review prior to that patch, it probably wouldn't be good. I mean, there's obviously something amiss here. Uh, so hopefully that whatever they're planning to patch in on the Monday prior to launch, it's enough to make it a good experience equivalent to how it's uh, getting graded so far on the console versions of the game. Uh, but yeah, PC gamers have a little bit to worry about. So I would, I would wait until sites like PC Gamer or PC exclusive YouTubers review this like Total Biscuit uh, before you consider picking up a PC version of the game, even though the console version has been reviewing fairly well. Next up in news, the PlayStation 4 version of Planetside 2 will be available for beta testing before the end of the year. Speaking with Eurogamer, SOE's Matt Higby said, as much as it sounds like we're blowing smoke, we're working hard to release a game that feels like a full-on console experience and not just like a port. So it's taken us quite a long time to rejigger our user interface and our controls. There's a lot of work that needs to get done. Now the PlayStation 4 version of Planetside 2 was announced quite some time ago and a lot of people were concerned that it was taking this long to come out and apparently as is stated here they're just trying to make sure it's as much of an authentic experience for the console as possible and you know that's an interesting line we often talk about ports being rubbish whether it's a pc port going to console or more often a console port coming to the pc whereas if developers take a long time and make sure that it, it feels like a good experience then we have people concerned that, hey, this is taking forever to come out. What's the deal? Uh, I really think the better of the two avenues, though, is to make sure that it is a good port over a rushed port that just plays like crap. And even though it's taken a couple of years, uh, it's good that it's finally coming to the PS4 and that it will feel like, hopefully, an authentic console experience. Although, who wants an authentic console shooter experience, am I right? <laughs> Says the kid who played a crap ton of Destiny. All right, moving on. Uh, last up in news today, the mighty Warlords of Draenor are the centerpiece of this latest World of Warcraft expansion. But unfortunately, there's one enemy they cannot face off against, and that is the DDoS attack. Problems began as players began flooding the servers for launch, and Blizzard claims at that same time to have been hit with DDoS attacks. And some game design decisions also compounded this problem with questing bottlenecks and the funneling of players on a server to one to two set locations. So between a massive influx of players and the way that just the expansion is designed to have a bunch of players in one location all at the same time, which is the case pretty much for every expansion, and, and getting hit with a DDoS attack, all of that was enough to basically, basically make things crumble. You know, it's funny because I put up a first impressions video yesterday after playing early in the morning into the early afternoon. And I, I kid you not, I played for five straight hours with no problems whatsoever. I made the video, and then later in the day, I tried to log on, and I was met with this lovely thing, a queue screen. So basically, they're having a problem. There's a huge influx of legitimate players trying to play. Uh, there is the fact that everyone on a server is all just one in, in, in one set location that's making the servers crash because it's getting overwhelmed. And then the DDoS thing, whether or not you believe it. Uh, even without the DDoS thing, we see launches of big online games constantly have problems because of such a huge influx, more so than will ever be throughout the rest of the lifetime of the game or of the expansion, all trying to log in and play basically at the same time because everyone's hyped. It's something new and we all want to get on and experience it all together. And then of course we have success stories where online games launch and 
there really isn't much of a problem. I hate to bring up Destiny again, but Destiny was a great example. I, I had pretty much no problems for the launch of that game. I know that there were spot issues, but overall it was a pretty smooth experience. So uh, point is that all that stuff aside, if there really was a DDoS attack, that really does suck. And now because they ha are having all these problems, they're restricting the amount of people that can be on a server at any given time. And that just means a lot of people are staring at this screen. I have been in this screen I think it's been like two or three hours now, and it says I've got 73 minutes left, and that keeps fluctuating between like 60, 70, 80, 90, like it's, it's just I want to play the game, but we can't play the game because of all these problems, and it's a pain in the ass, so welcome to internet games, I guess. I, if you have solutions, let me know. If you just say just rent servers without expanding upon it, I don't know if I can believe you because... Many people have told me that it's more complicated than that. But again, what the hell do I know? Thanks so much for watching today's episode of The Feed, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of the topics discussed here today. Far Cry 4 reviews for the console are good for the PC. We don't know yet. Uh, Planet Side 2 on the PlayStation 4. When it comes to beta, are you going to check it out? And how have you felt about World of Warcraft's Warlords of Draenor launch? Do you believe that there are DDoS attacks? Or do you just think it's servers being overloaded? Let me know what you guys think below. Have a good afternoon. I will see you tomorrow. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force Fed. I'll see you tomorrow. I, I've started saying that. I really actually like that because it makes it makes you guys feel like, hey, how's it going? Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Come back and watch my videos. But I just keep adding stuff to the end of all of my videos. And I'm going to have this end sequence that takes like three minutes to recite after every video. Eventually, it's going to happen. We're getting there. It's kind of ridiculous. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow. Once again, this has been Force. Keep watching and keep owning. Holy crap. I can't keep doing I can't keep doing this. I can't I I got to stop. What's wrong with me?